at six details on a shooting that landed two boys in trouble with the law. WWT six news is Kayla Van. We has details on how it all unfolded. There are a lot of things about this incident that are discouraging. It happened on a weekday in the middle of the afternoon and the people involved are barely teenagers. Two boys just 12 and 13 years old were at 27th and Fort at two in the afternoon. That's when police say they shot two bullet holes into a parked car, then turned the gun towards 19 year old Frank Lewis Hayden Jr. who had just come outside to investigate. Guys, and it's, it's not uncommon now to hear of 12, 13, 14 year olds involved in this type of lifestyle because you know the times have changed and changed for worse, says Pastor Edward King. To keep up with a growing and dark lifestyle kids don't believe they have a choice out of. I think a lot of them don't care. You, you can't tell me that you care and you do the, the violent things that you do. Our challenge is, is trying to get them to care again. You know, it's like once you start caring about something other than yourself, you, I think you make better choices with your life. Between both teens taken to the Douglas County Youth Center, charges add up to attempted first-degree felony assault, being a minor in possession of a gun, using a gun to commit a felony, criminal mischief, and obstructing. The damage done is tough. But when I asked Pastor King how to get these kids to care... I think caring for them. You know, I think uh, the, over the years you understand guys are in certain lifestyles. You know, you have to, I think somebody still has to care for them. Somebody still has to, to be willing to go after them. And that was Kayla Van Wee reporting. Pastor King says the goal isn't just to provide a safe haven, but to get kids thinking beyond split-second decisions.